night, everybody. It's mid-December. It's about 40 degrees out. We've got 42 degree water temperature here today. We're going to try to catch a couple bass. We're going to be using blade baits, uh, maybe some swim baits and some Ned rigs. We're going to give them a couple different looks, see if we can't catch a couple fish. Stick with us, see if we can't get a big one. Looks like a little bit of excitement here. Barely hooked that bass. Barely hooked that nice fish. And that is a nice fish. That's coming on three pounds. Nice, pale, beautiful winter largemouth. Hit the blade bait. Hit the Demiki blade. And I like it. I like it. We're going to get a picture and then we're going to put them back. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish on the Damiki vault. Bye, buddy. Look before you leap. I have some. Uh, Deteriorating weed growth, and then we have some weed growth that's still green. But you gotta clean it off every time. That's the point. Drop back down, but drop back down with tension. So you can feel straight. That time it came back relatively clean, but you still have to take this stuff off. So it comes through the water nice. And vibrates real good. Okay. More gunk. More gunk. And more weeds. What's interesting, some of the weeds are still green. Like this right here, that's, that's still green, so I don't know how far out that was when I hooked that weed, but we still have some green weeds here at 42 degree water temperature. Once again, clean off the blade bait. Just keeping me busy. And the ever present green weeds. Which actually is a good thing. All right, bass number two. No giant, but hey, you know what? It is December, and we're catching some fish. Okay. No right. nice one on the Demiki vault. Pound. <clears throat> uh -huh. Pound. Very pretty. Very pretty. Winter bass. Boy, they got the they got the lipstick going on, man. I'm telling you. Right. Get this guy back. 
All right. All right. Winter bass fishing, man, in 42 degree water. I like it. I like it a lot. And more weeds. And, as always, more weeds. Well, I threw out as far as I could. And uh, when I lift it up, I have a little bass on it. And there he is. So, we'll see you, buddy. I'm counting him. I'm counting him as one of my fish of the day. <laughs> cool. And he was out there too, Jack. He was way out there. All right, the vault is still looking good. Let's get on. Nice hit, not too far out. Not too far out. Thank you, Lord. That's a decent fish there. A decent fish. A decent fish. Thank you, Lord. What a cool looking bass. Man, that's nice. Now, that fish is probably, probably pretty close to three pounds. Well, maybe 17, 18 inches. Nice. Best one of the day. Best one of the day so far. Cool. Got that washed out pale winter bass look. <laughs> Let's get another picture. Beautiful fish, beautiful winter largemouth here in the middle of December, 42 degree water. We're going to put this baby back. There we go. Wrong way, buddy. Wrong way. Wrong way. There you go. That's the right way. There we go. <laughs> ah, very cool. Okay, bass number four. This is happening. This is happening. Here's a little bit of an update. We are catching bass, and we are catching them on the Damiki Vault, the half ounce Damiki Vault in golden pattern. And uh, we've caught four bass, we've had five strikes. We've had two fish around three pounds. Uh, hoping for a bigger fish, hoping for a four, maybe five, or even six pound class fish. And uh, we're gonna stick with it for a little while because these fish are hitting far out. Some of them are hitting in real close. But it's a, it's a good bite here with the uh, 42 degree water temperature. So we're gonna stick with it. You stick with us, let's see if we can't get bigger. All right, we tried to straight the tree but that time and we picked up a smaller fish, but hey, nonetheless, bass number five on the day, which is very, very nice. Very cool. Let's see if we can't get this guy on hook without getting ourselves up. Seems like it would pop right out, but it doesn't want to do it. Hooks are sharp. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to actually take the pliers out to this guy, and if he won't, let me work it. Nice little bass, not real big, that might be a 13 incher, 14 at the max. Thanks buddy, thanks for hanging in, Let's see you. <laughs> it would be a good day of bass fishing out there. Thank you Lord. Another guy hit out there pretty far, 
he got that thing down there. I'm gonna have to do a little work on him. A little bit of work on this guy. Okay. Another fish close to two pounds. All right. We got this guy unhooked and he's uh, he's doing pretty good. I think we're in good shape here. We're gonna put him on back. Say thanks. And we'll see you in the spring maybe. There you go. Cool. Man, this is good. It's okay. Keep a, just keep a tight line. Yeah, keep away from it. Yeah, if you can. Just keep your rod high, Jimmy. I'm not. <laughs> what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Look at that nice fish. Sheesh. Excellent. You ain't gonna believe the rig I call him that. Hold still. Just keep him tight. <laughs> Good fish. Alright. No, no. Keep tight line. No. You gotta get him out of that stuff. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Go ahead, pull, pull. just pull. Just pull. All right, hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this 18, 19 inch bass. Jimmy just caught on some kind of a crazy, goofy, crazy, crazy rig. I, I took this to it to give it weight, to throw it out there on that plastic worm, and this hit down low. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. You believe that? 